Hello and welcome back to India and I am here by the river in Hampi and today I am with a special special two people first being Gabriel Traveller who I'm sure hey you will have seen before if you followed my channel I'm sure you've seen his videos over the years and it's great to finally meet you actually. absolutely so um, he's gonna be in this video a little bit and I'm also here with Bo who's from Poland Hello. and he's a friend of Gabriel's and so yeah we're gonna cross the river right now and go to the north bank of Hampi and explore a little bit and hopefully it'll be an exciting adventure so 50 rupees a person for the short boat ride here across the very sacred river here at Hampi and the north bank is much quieter and it's full of temples that you don't need to pay for access to. You can also rent bikes there as well. So hopefully uh, we will be able to rent some and see some more quieter and off the beaten path parts of Hampi. As I said in a previous video here, there are quite literally thousands of temples and so there is no shortage of places to explore. various ruins over there. There is a lot to explore here in Hampi. It is my favorite place in India, pretty much, and one of my favorite places in the world. This is a place to stay for a week or two. This is really fits you, man. <laughs> this was a whole scene before. There was guest houses and restaurants all along here. Really? So you, you would have been seeing lots, second, of, lots of foreigners walking along. Um, Hello. 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 Beautiful. So yesterday we were talking about Roman ruins. Like that looks like Roman ruins really right does. there. Yeah, yeah. Like a huge aqueduct or something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday we were talking about that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah how some of them feel like that yes, kind of grandeur. Yes. 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 So we took a couple of bikes and we have now come somewhere further north on the north bank and the scenery as we were making our way was just incredible as you saw the boulders mixed with coconut trees and the greenery. It's a very unique landscape that I haven't seen anywhere else. So we're going to hike up now this hill. I believe there is a temple at the top so it should be, should be nice. There's a lot of steps, but also despite being full of tourists, uh, there's also a lot of locals climbing up here too, which makes it quite an interesting temple to, to climb to the top and see and observe the locals at Hampi going about their daily uh, visits. Yes. No, chappal. Oh, here. Okay. The shoes over there. You want us? Thank you.
Gabe, you mentioned last time you came here, or years ago, when you came back, your shoes were stolen. Exactly, sandals just like that kind of, that I just bought right here in Hompi, like a couple days before. Leave them there, walk around, come back, gone, barefoot. Barefoot all the way back down. That's some bad karma. Yeah. Stealing shoes at a temple, man. Yeah, yeah. You're going to hell, like the deepest yeah. levels. <laughs> so the temple here is orange, and I'm assuming that that is because it's dedicated to Hanuman. I think orange is the color of Hanuman, the monkey god. And there he is. Doja Stambam. Stambam. In front of Father, God, they will keep. And what is its symbol? Ah, symbol. It will symbolize <laughs> our uh, and temple uh, logo like that. Of this temple? Uh, no, yeah. every temple every is temple having a Doja Stambam. Every temple is having this. It is our culture, Stambam. Indian okay. culture. Uh, okay. In front of God, they will keep. They will keep. Yes. A microcosm of Hampi in a temple at the top of the hill. Hey. They are selling fruits and things here. Okay. Namaste. 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 So, very refreshing on a hot day when you've been walking up what felt like five or six hundred steps or so. Yeah. All right. Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we have some goats and a goat herder. There is the top of the mountain we just climbed up. Got some workers. Looks like loading bananas. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Jason Billum Travel. I couldn't think of anything more clever to say, so... Let's see how fast these puppies can go! Gabriel Traveler over and out. I can't stop this thing one handed. Can we do the handoff? Yeah, let's do it. Wow. <laughs> Incredible <laughs> vlogging assist. There we go. So we've seen the way to a random temple. We're gonna check it out. Just gonna go off-road here Woo. and see. Mandir. Mandir means temple. Durga is one of the primary goddesses of Hinduism. We don't know exactly what we're gonna see here. After another beautiful ride, another interesting looking temple, which we found just going off on a random road and I climb up these steps and find out what it's like. 
seems quieter, possibly newer. Wow, this isn't what I expected. It's almost castle-like in its appearance. Seems like there's something going on here the further we go into the temple. This is really off the beaten path kind of exploring of Hampi here, away from the main site. It's been really cool. <laughs> Namaste. This one is a Ganesh temple. This way? Oh, this side. Okay. This way? Then you're bad. I did not expect this all of a sudden we're now inside a cave making our way through which is part of the Ganesh temple I think <laughs> Namaste. Thank you so much. Who's country? America. America. UK. England. Oh, oh, oh. Namaste. Namaste. So here there are a set of 64 pillars on the water there. The level used to be much lower. This epitomizes what I love about Hampi and what makes it unique, as I've said before, the rocky boulders and dry landscape yet with a lot of greenery and then water and trees around. It is very different to anywhere else I've seen in India. Hello, welcome back to Hampi. Today is another day. And after crossing back over the river from the north bank, we today are now walking along the south bank towards Hampi Waterfalls. Way to waterfalls. So we are probably a little bit lost. We've been waking our way to the waterfalls. Coming through lots of overgrown parts. Seems like Gabe's found it. 
Found it? No, we're yelling for the guide. Okay, so we made it through. We had to climb over a barbed wire and we ended up calling for a guide's help <laughs> just to show us the last little bit of the way. But uh, now we're here, it's worth it because look around us. 200 loops. <laughs> $2.50 to pay the guy. The cost of getting to the waterfalls. Yeah. Better than getting lost in the wilderness. Exactly. Eaten by alligators. Something you know well. The alligator eating? No, they're getting lost in the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. No, no beating. Pretty cool. Look at the size of some of these boulders. Hampy in a nutshell, really, as I've said before. So we're now going to hop into the water. It looks really nice. All these large boulders. I've never swam anywhere that looks like this before, I think. Nice is this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Chilling here by the waterfalls. Enjoying life. Sun setting. A really nice hike to do in the late afternoon or perhaps early morning of one day here at Hampi and finish off with a bit of a swim before you leave. Obviously you have to be careful, some of the water is pretty rough over there and there are cracks beneath these rocks that you can get your legs stuck in so you need to watch out for that. These little hollows or coves remind me of almost like the moon or something. <laughs> yeah, like crater, yeah. meteorite, little mini exactly. meteorite impacts, but I'm sure that it's from the water. Exactly. Like a rock gets stuck in there and then it grinds it out, something like that. That makes sense. I mean, this place has been here for a long, long time to have this kind of effect. 